What is going on guys, Rewinds here, and it's that time of the month again. Seems like we're getting some more Boruto anime spoilers, and it has been a little bit since I've had a chance to cover these, so I think the last time we got any was like maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So in this one, we have spoilers for episodes 262 to 265. Um, we're gonna read this and react to this together. I have no idea what's going on. I haven't even read the titles on my own yet. Uh, all I know is that these summaries came out courtesy of Organic Dinosaurs, so let's have a look at them. So, episode 262 is going to be titled The Princess's Tea Party, and it's going to be airing on August 14th. So, doesn't sound like a intriguing title to me, but I know this is going to be, you know, a somewhat long arc at least. So, let's see how things connect here. So, um, the synopsis for this one is Kawaki is still struggling with adjusting to his unfamiliar school life. However, he successfully befriended Kei, who is the subject of his guard mission. Okay, so Kawaki's doing, playing his cards right. Since Kei wants to get along even better with Himawari and the rest of her classmates, she has decided to invite everyone to a tea party that'll be hosted at her mansion. For the sake of the mission, Kawaki must not take his eyes off Kei. And so Kawaki has no choice but to reluctant, reluctantly attend the party. Kawaki experiences a lot of difficulties from feeling lost and out of place at the strange tea party. But in the midst of the event, he senses something unusual. Okay, so this seems like a little bit more of a setup episode. It's like a mix of, uh, you know, some lighthearted stuff that we're going to get with Himawari and friends. As well as Kawaki on his mission, we're probably going to get to see Kawaki interact more with other characters as well, to show more of his character overall. So it doesn't sound too bad. Um, let's see where it heads though. In episode 263, where the title is called Bloom, the abilities of a classroom teacher. And this is going to be airing on August 21st. So something I just want to say right away is I'm interested to see if Shino is going to be teaching them at all. Uh, because he is a teacher at the school, but I don't think they'd give him the same uh, teacher, but um, would be cool to see him here in this arc. Okay, the synopsis is Borto, Sarda, and Mitsuki will be special lecturers at the Academy for Kawaki, Himawari, and all the other new students. <laughs> of course, I bet Kawaki is going to be making some uh, funny remarks in this one. Uh, Hannah, who is the home teacher of the class, will be present during the lesson. Given their previous accomplishments and flashy techniques, Boruto and his teammates captivate the students. The students can't seem to take their eyes off them. Hannah starts to feel saddened when comparing herself to Boruto and the others too. Boruto and his teammates then divide the class in half and pit the students against one another. They've prepared some mock training and drills for the students. Okay, so we're going to focus on another new character it seems like, or... Um, I'm not sure if Hannah is a character that's been shown before, but I'm assuming it's a new character. I cannot remember somebody named Hannah, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so it seems like we're going to focus on that character, and then we're going to get some Team 7 interactions just uh, lecturing these kids and getting them to do these mock battles at some point. This one, to me, sounds a little more interesting than the previous one. Uh, let's see where it heads, though, in 264 and 265. Um... Let's see, let's see. So moving forward to 264 and 265, it seems like these two are put together over here. So um, it says synopsis for upcoming Boruto anime episodes 264 and 265 from Animedia. Also minor details about 263 in this magazine's preview. Version our Rasengan demonstration is shown for the class, and that Hannah struggles to capture and retain her students' interest since she can only use plain jutsu. So, a little more context for you guys there about 263. Let's have a look at 264 next. So, 264 is going to be titled The Formation of the Seven Wonders Expedition Team, and this is going to be airing on August 28th. And the synopsis for this one is a hot topic amongst the class is. The Seven Wonders of the Ninja Academy. Himawari and her friends want to see them for themselves, and so they've decided to explore the academy late at night. Since Kei is one of the members of the expedition team, Kawaki reluctantly joins in on the exploration. However, Kei doesn't believe that the Seven Wonders exist. On the other hand, 
Himawari and her friends are really looking forward to the expedition, and so Kay decides to try and cause some fake unusual phenomenons for them. Kawaki decides to help her out, even though he's exa exasperated at Kay. Kawaki decides to keep her company until the excursion is over when he sees how happy she is about it, but midway through their adventure, an unplanned and mysterious event occurs. So I do remember seeing this as a provisional title before, but now we have more context about what this Seven Wonders thing is. Uh, makes a lot more sense to their kids that they would be staying around, you know, and doing this more so in their academy rather than going outside of the village to find these or even go through the village to find these. Makes more sense to me. Um, but that could be a cool one too. A lot of these, you know, they're not like crazy exciting to me, but... Um, this is what we're getting for now, so um, I'm going to give my honest thoughts on it. And uh, a few of these do seem like they could be, you know, nice little episodes. And some of the others, on the other hand, seem like uh, maybe not, you know. So we'll see. 265 is titled A Team Competition Practical Skills Training. And this is going to be airing on September 4th. So the synopsis for this one is, it's been arranged for Kawaki, Himawari, and their classmates to undergo some practical skills training in the forest near the Ninja Academy. The students will form teams consisting of three man cells and be conduct conducting some drills. However, the subject of Kawaki's guard mission, K, has been placed into a different group. Kawaki is now in a situation where he could lose sight of K. Beside, I mean, because of that, Kawaki is unable to put forth his best efforts into the training session. Kawaki then causes an awkward situation where he's sabotaging the students who are on his own team and holding them back from doing well. Meanwhile, a mysterious person has called out to Kei. Kei then disappears. When Kawaki realizes what has happened, Kawaki and Himawari go in search of Kei's whereabouts together. They're hoping to find Kei before she can put herself in any danger. So, this one to me easily sounds like the most interesting one uh, i would love to see himawari and i guess whoever else is upcoming with her do some training so this one could be really cool and on top of that this progresses the arc because it seems like this k character is going to be kidnapped so um i have one more thing to show you and that would be the staff of these episodes so i can give you a little bit of an idea of how the animation should look so honestly um, this one already, the studio, Maru Animation, they're an outsourced studio, they're not really anything special, so expect the episode animation-wise to look okay, but there's a guy on here that you can see, his name is Ichiro Uno, he is really, really good at art, so expect the art in the episode to be really, really good, um, so this could be a really promising one, actually, even if the studio is not, you know, crazy. We look at 263, they're done by Fortune. Fortune is one of the more solid uh, outsourcing studios, so I would say 263 may look better animation-wise, not art-wise, uh, may look better animation-wise uh, than 262. Moving on to 264, Jiwoo Animation. Um, Jiwoo Animation, I know for a fact that they've done some solid episodes. Uh, one fight that just comes to my mind is they did, I believe, that little Konohamaru Jigen skirmish in episode 203. So if you want to reference that to see that's something you're working with. They also worked on a lot of uh, Black Clover. So you can reference to that as well if you're interested. But that could also be another solid looking one, you know. Uh, as long To me, as long as they're not bad, because I know they're not going to be putting in like super crazy effort for these anime cannons. Unless it's like a huge fight, it seems like. Uh, and I mean, we all saw what they did with that little Boruto Kawaki fight, so I don't know if they're really going to be animating anything like crazy good for a while. But as long as it looks solid, I think that's what matters right now. And 265. So no studio listed, which is interesting. Um, and I'm not really aware of these guys, so I'm not sure. But I do want to say that something that is interesting is that the main studio, Studio Piro, is not listed for any of them, which is not a good sign. But to be honest, they may be working on the comeback of the Bleach anime because that would be very close to that date. I think it drops in October 
and uh, these episodes span August to September, so they may be on that. Uh, but who knows what's actually going on with that. Um, I think more effort's going to be put into all of this when we move to more important material, maybe a code activation arc if they plan on doing that. And uh, if not, they'll definitely put in more effort for the actual manga content when we actually get there. But um, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you thought of the spoilers in the comments below. Are you excited for this arc? Are you not interested at all? Let me know. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a good day or night. Whenever you guys are watching this video, I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.